Okay, so here I am. I'm back to lead a teacher. If I yawn a few times, I do apologize. I'm running off of just a few hours of sleep, but I had to get this out. So the number one question is, um, Talia, what has held your relationship together over the past three years? And it's three answers. It's communication, communication, and communication. I can't stress communication enough. I really cannot. I cannot stress communication enough. I can't stress communication enough because you have got to talk to your partner. Excuse me. You have got to talk to your partner about everything, no matter if it's going to hurt them or if it's going to make them happy, if it's going to surprise them. When, you, when you're discussing money, when you're discussing family, you have to communicate with your partner, period. It is the one thing that will make you or break you, honestly, make you or break you. It is the one thing that is going to reveal all, whether the person's a liar, whether the person's a cheater, whether the person is super excited to be with you, whether the person is... Excuse me. Whether a person is worried about something, whether the person is, hey, tired like me, whether the person is on the same mental capacity as you, it is so important to talk to your partner. My fiance and I really had to work on that. And what we have found out is that neither one of us knew how to communicate effectively. Because you can communicate, it may not be effective, meaning it may not work, it may not get you anywhere, but you can communicate all day long. So, how do you have effective communicating? communication? You have to really actively listen, like, you have to listen on everything, on the, and I mean, when I say listen, I'm not just talking about your ears, I'm talking about with your eyes too, like, body language is everything, everything my language is everything i'm trying to tell you you have got to actively listen with your whole body when you're in a relationship with somebody you gotta listen like know those little things if they're lying they may drop their eyes low they may look away from you they may shrug their shoulders they may stutter if they're telling the truth they may have a lot of compassion in what they say or what they do. And that's the other thing. Communication doesn't just come verbally. It comes with the things that you do. For the person. By the person. It Communication is the biggest thing. It is the biggest thing. <laughs> just, I'm trying to. I can't even stress it. I, I can't stress it anything more. You have to talk. And you have to listen. Effectively. Actively. Wholly. You have to communicate. So there we go.